Hey everybody, I'm back on a Sunday afternoon this week and getting ready to make some dinner. But I want to take some time to address some things that have been going on this week. I'm going to start with a public service announcement. If you are one of those people who are still wearing a mask in your car by yourself, or jogging by yourself outside wearing a mask, or going into a supermarket with a mask and gloves on, seek help. COVID has destroyed your brain. You've survived physically, but mentally you are gone. Way out there. Please get help. Get it done, man, because there's something wrong with you. COVID has killed common sense, more common sense than people. And I'll toast to that with a little truly. I would also like to thank Vladimir Putin. What he's doing in Ukraine is horrible. He shouldn't be over there killing women and children or civilians or invading another country. Wrong. But the man has cured COVID. We've heard about the Russian invading Ukraine. COVID has disappeared. In fact, there's another virus, another variant coming called the Delta Kron, but apparently it's scheduled after the Russian invasion is over. So what is that telling you? Putin, thank you for curing COVID. Problem solved. He should have did this a long time ago. Been in and out of there in a week. Now get your ass out of Ukraine, Putin. You're making all the Russians look bad because you're a dumbass. Go put your shirt on. Get down off the horse. Speaking about Russia, Brittany Griner, WNBA star. One of the best players in the WNBA this year or last year said she will kneel for the national anthem. She will not respect the United States. In fact, she went so far to say any time the anthem is played, anywhere I am, I'm going to stay inside and not even come out because I can't stand what it represents. Well, she was arrested in Russia for vaping. Arrested in Russia and could be serving up to seven years. 15 years of jail time. Karma's a bitch. Maybe you need to come back to the United States. I don't want anybody serving 17 years in jail. Let's get that straight. She's an American citizen. But maybe she needs to come back to the country and get down on her knees and salute the flag and beg for forgiveness and be thankful for the liberties and freedoms that this country affords her. Can you imagine that? She is kneeling and now in jail in Russia. Maybe they'll send her to the gulag. She's not going to like it. I'm sure a year or so will be all right for her. She'll come back with a cleared mind, like going down to a fat farm and coming back skinny. Unbelievable. It, it, it's crazy because all these athletes and Hollywood people, they all want to stand up for Ukraine, but they all want you to kneel for the USA. Abysmal is what it is. Abysmal. And if anybody watches the show, you know what I'm talking about. It's absolutely incredible. But thankfully, we had Kamala go over there. She went over to Poland and spoke to Ukrainian people and said she will take care and make the Ukrainian border as safe as she would all borders. She'll take care of it. Well, I guess they're going to have the drug runs coming over, people bombarding the border, because I think she already did it. I mean, our border's not that great down south. So if that's what the Ukrainians are looking for, they're screwed. She may not be the right person to go over there because she is not quite as bad as Pelosi, that drunken hag, but she can barely slur a few sentences together without hackling and sound like some first grader. It, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, just an insulted first graders. It's absolutely insanity. And even Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola took them about two weeks to decide they were going to shut down their factory in Russia. You know what? Down in Georgia, they shut down, they protested, Coca-Cola went crazy for the All-Star game because of voting rights. So, let me get this straight. In the United States, you need a voter ID? Coca-Cola doesn't like that very bad. You go kill some Ukrainians? Eh, not so much. We're going to keep it over. We, we need to keep our profits high. You know why? Because the wokeness here in the United States is going to kill us as it is. It's very slowly. However, I think people are starting to turn around. Because we see people like Bill Maher and now this Noah Fool, the comedian, are starting to turn around a little bit and open their eyes and realize what's going on. I call that progress. Maybe they're waking up a little bit. Not woke. Waking up to the real reality, not their reality. It's, it's absolutely insane. Now, 
Oh, then Kamala. She's down there in Selma talking about voting rights. And she told a group of people, I mean, it, 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 it's all black folk, you know, with a few pandering white folk, that she is fighting for everyone in the United States to have the right, right to vote. Somebody need to tell her? Really? She's everyone. Who doesn't have the right to vote, Kamala? Who doesn't have the right to vote? You know what you're fighting for? The illegals to vote. That's who you're fighting for. I, I, I hate to say this. Kamala may actually be the queen of stupid. She may have taken the throne away from AOC. I'm just saying, just saying. And then we have Angry Joe passing bills and yelling at people that we don't understand the economy. $2.6 billion for gender equality around the globe. $3 billion in raises for Congress. But your taxes aren't going up. So where the hell is this money coming from? Where is it coming from? You know where it's coming from? All the taxes you're paying on as all our prices from the economy and inflation continues to rise. Speaking about all these things being high, what's higher right now? Gas prices, inflation, or Hunter Biden? I, I think as high as Hunter Biden is, not sure he even wins this one. But good God, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I, I would like some of these politicians to switch out their chapstick for glue sticks. Right in the mouth so they can't talk anymore. Maybe just some good duct tape over it will be all right. It, it really is. It really is no joke. It is no joke at all. Joe, Joe Biden. I mean, I mean, really, 81 million votes? It's funny with these 81 million votes because last week in Texas, they found over 10,000 mail-in uncounted votes. Just last week, over a year later. Let me guess, these over 10,000, the majority of them were Democratic votes. But there's nothing wrong with this system. Let everybody keep mailing it in. No voter ID. We're going to press everybody because you got to get up there and pull the handle. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Man, funny with the bill just passed. Congress passed the bill for $13.6 billion in eight hours. It took them about eight months to get $600 stimulus checks to have everybody. You know, term limits are needed. Mitch McConnell looks like Voldemort, the drunken old hag. The Crypt Keeper and Chuck Schumer, they're about 240 years old together. Get them out. We need term limits and get some real people in those seats. It's really, enough is enough. The two-party system and no term limits is a failure and getting worse every single year. I was at the cradle of aviation last week with the squirrels. I looked at the World War II exhibits and there was some lady there and she said, you know, women are very misrepresented here with these planes. Somebody needs to tell them the ladies weren't allowed to fly planes in World War II. I'm not sure they're flying them right now, but definitely not in World War II. But this is the wokeness. She certainly needs to know that everything needs to be fair. But you know what I said it many times? Life doesn't have to be fair. Fairness is an illusion. Things have to be equal. But, but everybody doesn't get the same fair and equal opportunity. It's not fair. It's called life. You got to make your own breaks, man. Man. And then we have another one in the news this week. Jussie Smollett was sentenced. First thing, he was late to his sentencing. Then he gets there and the judge says, you need to say anything? And he says, yeah, I didn't do this. So he sounded like every other perp that goes to jail. Nobody is guilty in jail. They're, they all get off. So he finishes his, his rant by saying, I am not suicidal. I don't want to harm myself. If anything happens to me in prison, I didn't do it. I'm wondering if he got some dirt on the Clintons. Because those people never seem to make it out of jail. You can hear that from uh, that Epstein guy. I'm surprised Maxine's still hanging in there. Ooh, hanging may be the wrong word to use, brother. Hopefully she's not hanging in there. Just laying down flat. Then we have the White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, the crazy redhead who looks like Peppermint Patty. She said that the United States and the sanctions have crushed the Russian economy. I don't know, is it a two-for-one deal? So she got the United States economy and the Russian economy. Two birds, one stone, Jen. Oh, it, it really. The, the fact that the Democrats, and I'm just saying the Democrats because they're in power right now, are touting that they've turned the economy around. And we don't understand inflation because the general populace is basically too stupid to understand. I agree with some of the populace being too stupid. About 50 or 60%, those 81 million, just saying... Anyone's better than Trump? Not so much. Policy, not personality, friends. I find this weird. New York, state of New York, 
licensed marijuana and they're starting to get distribution centers opened up and they're giving first rights to convicted drug dealers. First rights, convicted drug dealers. And their rationale is they would like to give black and brown people the first step. What are we doing? Are, are, are we really saying that black and brown people are drug dealers? That they should be the only ones selling drugs? Is that their bar for life to sell drugs? I, 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 it, is, it is baffling. I mean, that's a whole lot of glue stick. The stupidity is boundless. Can you imagine saying to black and a brown folk, the only thing you can do, we're going to give you first crack because we think you'd be good at drug dealing. I don't know. They were in jail for a reason. It was illegal then. If they want to do it, go right ahead. But isn't that discrimination also? I mean, I can't fathom this in the United States anymore. What are we doing here, folks? My God. Anyone besides me think it's very creepy for these elementary school teachers to continue talking about wanting to discuss sex, gender, and, and, and how they feel with elementary school kids, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade. I think that's real, real, real creepy. Um, the word for that is pedophilia uh, and just general weirdness. I'm not sure. You do what you want to do, but, you know, stay away from the kids. As I said before, there are no transgender kids. They're just kids. Let them be kids, man. Then we have another one. Bill Cosby's out, and he's back on top here. And he was out the other day at a press conference. He'd like to tour again, and he said, you know, it's a shame that the courts and that prosecutor ru ruined my reputation. Ruined his reputation. It wasn't drugging, giving quaaludes to women so we could sexually abuse them. That didn't ruin his reputation. It was the prosecutor. Then he said he'd like to do stand-up again. The only drug he may need for stand-up is a little Viagra. I need a little bump bump in the background for that one. But maybe he's going and peddling the new blue pill, not the quaalude, which is way out of style. Then we got the squirrels this week. My mother watched the squirrels. Nana was over here. One of the squirrels told Nana, you must have been a horrible parent. I don't know how you raised so many kids. She was an okay parent. She wasn't horrible, but it's nice to see that the vitriol goes towards someone else. And then, in the news, they always going after the police. Uh, out Suffolk County, a, a police officer shot an intruder in his house. And you know who's under investigation? The police officer. Not the guy who broke in his house. He didn't kill him. But the police officer's under investigation. I got an idea. Don't break into anybody's house. You're not going to get shot or hurt. Very simple. Now, lastly, uh, this one really confused me. Dear Angry Mac, I had some back surgery. And I posted on social media asking people, you know, for some well wishes. So a friend, a good friend... You know, didn't know I was having back surgery, and he kept calling and texting and wanted to know, am I okay, am I in pain, when's the surgery, is it related? And he's very nosy. I feel, I feel very intruded on. He is nosy, and now I am getting enraged. I don't know what to tell him. Dude, how about thank you? You have a friend who cares about you, and you're enraged. Maybe you need to get your priorities straight, or maybe you're already on the painkillers, before you get this, come on, shake your head, get your brain back in order, and just say thanks. Somebody's caring about you. You just say thank you. Whew. A little quick one this week, guys, but listen. Another week goes by, and it's another week that you should be loving the people in your life. Whether they're your friends, whether they're your family, but you choose who you love. But you know what you can't choose? How much time you have left. So cherish that time. Tell everybody you love them. And guys, listen. Most powerful word in the English language. I love you. There's three words you should be telling somebody, texting somebody, emailing somebody every single day. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next week.